What's going on everybody, Flying Dutchman here and today we're working on the Mira aka the uh, Core Sior however people call them uh, I put it on jack stands already because we were driving home yesterday no, the day before and as soon as we got off the freeway we started accelerating again because we got off the off-ramp and like they take the turn and we started accelerating uh, next to a guardrail so that reflects like sound and everything we were like what the this car doesn't sound like this normally and on higher rpms it was less noticeable but lower rpms it was just like the exhaust is blown what the because we just changed the exhaust out as you remember, we just uh, did this whole back piece as a, as a new shiny installment. And now it turns out that, I don't know if the camera really picks this up, but um, it just snapped off of the box. I was saying like this exhaust, the front piece looks new because there's no, almost no rust. It just looks all good. And then for some reason, it just snaps off like that. Um, also, my uh, girlfriend was complaining that she was not really hearing the car as much, uh, which for her was a bit of annoying because she learned to drive in the Volvo or like sit with me in the BMW or like the, what else did I have? The Celica, the Civic, the CRX, and they all had different exhausts because I like the engine sound basically. I don't have to, need to have a car that's illegally loud, but uh, I wanted to have a little bit more than OEM. and. Especially with a small little car like this, you barely hear it. So you really need to look at your RPM gauge to know where your RPMs are at. Um, so she was like, I want a little bit more grump to it. And the thing is, um, this is the back muffler, the rear one. Because there's nothing between, uh, behind that and there's only that little middle box. So apart from that one, we're going to go straight pipe. Because this is just the car also saying like, I don't want this muffler anymore. So we're going to take it off on the exhaust, on the, on the back side, on the front side. Well, as you can see, it's already off. Um, also going to take this pipe off, just two bolts there at the front. So I can clean this up and make a nice weld. And we're just going to go with the straight pipe from that point to the other point. And let's see how a little almost straight pipe three cylinder will sound. Uh, we're gonna leave that one in between because otherwise it's gonna be too loud for sure um, but I'm just uh, I'm curious to see what it does so we're gonna remove this uh, two bolts at the back and to be honest I have been cheating a little bit there we go one bolt you want the other one should come out at no ease but I need to hold it in the position that there is no tension on it There we go. And there it is. Uh, this is the original one. And this is where that mounts up to. Now what we're gonna do is try to cut this one off so we can utilize this one. So we can still have it like in two piece. So in case you need to go over the axle, it's possible. Um, so we're gonna utilize this flange and just cut it off somewhere right there and see if we can weld a piece from there to there. So here we are, I've cut everything up. Um, I got this holder off, uh, the muffler bit that's gonna be on the pipe now and gonna hang the exhaust up. As you can see, I have done one bit. Wait, can you see that even? Yes, so I used the flange and just put one bit of pipe on there and now it looks a little bit low. But well, this one is also not in its original position. This one comes up and then, there we go. It's not the cleanest uh, transition, but um, it's higher than it was because of normally there was a muffler. And also this is the way I was able to reach that weird angle, that weird corner. So I don't really care about the weird, angle that it has but I can't really make it longer because if I make this longer well, I could have made that bit longer but um, 
Eh. It's a bit, uh, I don't have the length to go forward. So this is all I, uh, all I can do. So basically I need to tack it up now, uh, which I'm gonna do and then remove two bolts from the front and just drop the whole exhaust and weld it outside of the car. Cause then I can really get all the way around and everywhere and get that hanger on. So basically tag it so it's like this and push it up as far as I can, tag that thing on, and then we should be all good. So, oh well. So I'm just gonna get tagging, welding and pick the camera up when the exhaust is underneath, uh, out of the car. Then uh, just reinstall and, and test how it's gonna sound. So unfortunately I was unable to do it under the car so I took it out of the car and uh, well it's just one long straight until we come to this part which is a little bit meh, weird but yeah it's uh, it's closed that's that's basically all that matters it's not the best welds but it was a little bit thin material and maybe it was better to take a little bit off of there but because it was well where it was rusted off and I grinded it till it was like somewhat good again but maybe not good enough uh, I fixed some holes created some holes fixed them again but now it's all sealed and tight so I'm gonna blast it with some paint some heat protective paint well almost OEM so you barely see anything of this but the exhaust is on uh, for the two bolts at the front there I need to tighten uh, fully and then I need to tighten these two that basically hold the uh, what's this hey the ring just came out of there that's not how it should that's good we checked so we're gonna put another ring in there uh, I tack this one up so the whole exhaust still warm there but it's all nice and nice and sturdy and rubbers it's not banging or like she can hear it's not banging or hitting anything so uh, it's ready to do two bolts two bolts there and done we can drop it on the floor and listen to the final results of the this sort of straight pipe job that I did so here we go, moment of truth. All right, let's go for a little test rope. I'm scared to what it sounds like, because we don't know. Let's open up the windows first, because you never know, right? Too much, but we shall see. <gasps> to be honest, it sounds so cool. <laughs> I created the 350Z. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds a little bit. Uh, Trumpet farty. <laughs> I'm loving this. A small little car to like this. Listen to this. How 
good is that little burble. down a little bit with just a normal mid muffler but I like the the tone of it like it's it's like what the fuck is that and then it's just a small little car like this so I've done a thing. Oh no, what if, did you do? <laughs> well, you hurt me. Yeah, I heard you over there. Like, uh, Did you like it? No, I think, oh my god, what did he do? Oh my god. How were you sure that it was your car? You're working on it when I'm coming to school, so... Did you hear a trumpet? Did you hear pops and bangs? Yeah. Did you hear the bangs? Yeah. Because it just, if you wrap it up, it just bang! Just a loud one. So good. It's so good. Do you want to go for a test drive? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I want to see this reaction because... Oh, well, hold up. Roll down your window. To the window! The handbrake was on because I hold up because I was wrapping it. Uh -huh. Oh my god, so loud! If you drive it normally, it's acceptable, but as soon as you <laughs> acceptable, oh my god, don't you think this is not? Yeah, it's nice. 
I like a sound and it's not that very bad but until you put your foot down everyone knows in the morning that I'm going to my work yeah but they know it for me as well the funny thing is people hear uh, aggressive sound or like the trumpets and everything <laughs> and then this car comes around the corner because it's so good <laughs> It's a weird sound of like a weird point of resonance that it just begins to begins to trumpet. RPMs, the, the less it gets, it gets yeah, better. Yeah. And my question was, can you drive it normally on the freeway? On the freeway? But I think we need to quiet it down a little bit. Anyway, we're happy with the result uh, for the fact that it pops and bangs. Uh, I think the, the resonant like trumpet noise is a little bit too much. So we're gonna go to the wrecking yard to get a mid muffler or like a simpler muffler that was under there and just smack that on and see what that does. Um, but that will be in a, another video, different video, because we're gonna leave this here and like the upgraded mod will come later. Um, so please like, subscribe. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more give me a comment because that always helps me out um, with the youtube algorithms let me know what you think of the sound let me know what you think of the trumpet sound would you daily this apart from the fact if it's legal or not and then i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching